Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we're on August 25th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. God bless you all, and thank you for joining me. And as well, everyone else. Please stay safe, aware, and prepared. And as well, stay young and have fun. 2020 is pretty strange, but it's pretty, pretty good summer so far. And a pretty quiet sun. Looking at an incoming sunspot region. Not much to talk about except for the coronal hole that's straight across the northern parts of the sun. But pretty active corona there. You can see plasma filaments trying to connect. Pretty active sunspot incoming. Southern coronal hole has pretty much diminished. Right, minuscule. But definitely, seeing all this action, watch closely. There's actually quite a bit of Earth facing activity. Most likely, we'll be seeing that in the next 36 hours. Watch for things to change drastically in the next couple weeks. As we transition into winter early and watch for a video to come out later today i'll be talking about that more in depth as we look at winter season of 2020 coming up i'm gonna look here at the real-time solar wind as we are steady at around 350 kilometers per second we did have a small jump to about 375 nothing dramatic but watch for that to change as well in the next 24 to 36 hours. Looking at the Schumann residence for today, a power of 12. Yesterday we did have a small spike in energy. Sitting at a quality base of 6.5. We've been hovering there for about a week now. Looking at earthquakes, most recent here, a 4.3 in Nepal, 10 kilometer depth as well just earlier and more Iran and as well a 5.2 ringing off here in the Owen fracture zone just east of the Arabian plate watching earthquakes here in the Tonga region as well Willis and Fortuna 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 4.6 at a 416 kilometer depth as well watching action here in Vanuatu 4.8 so a lot of the action is centralized and as well through Hawaii again, minor erupt or minor earthquakes ringing off here, 2.7, a volcano Hawaii, it does not say which one. Cascades have quieted down a bit across the North American plate, watching a lot of minor activity straight across the plate. 2.9 here, California, Petrolia, moving eastward here, Idaho, and as well, 2.6 in Texas. 2.5 there is in Texas as well. 2.9 record, recorded in Arkansas. And then yesterday we did have the large 6.0 reported in Costa Rica. Watching earthquakes increase throughout the, the Dominican as Tropical Storm Laura just raged across there. 5.5 reported here in Peru. South America, pretty quiet. A lot of the action is centralized right now along the equator. Looking at the last seven days. Pretty active for our last seven days. Actually, when we're looking at it, especially through Tonga, deep earthquakes there. A lot of movement through the North American plate, but still quiet through the Cascadia subduction zone. Central America. And watch for earthquakes to increase. South America as well. And then the rare earthquakes that have been happening throughout the African plate. So stay aware and prepared and just have a plan, everybody. This is not to scare everybody. It's to just be aware and prepared. Let's have a look at volcanoes here as we had... Ibu and Reventador, uh, Fuego in Guatemala, 
Sinabung in Indonesia, Sangay in Ecuador, Sabankaya in Peru, uh, Shevelich in Russia. So that's about 10 volcanoes in the past 10 hours that have been updated for eruptions. And about three new volcanoes. So that's another video that I need to work on here. We need to get a volcanic activity report going up. But the big story is Tropical Storm Laura, who just raged across the Dominican Republic and through Cuba. Just grazing Cuba, actually. But most likely will be a tropical, uh, a category three tropical storm as it heads straight into Houston in the Gulf of Mexico. Houston, Texas is its path. The eye of the storm will be heading right in between Houston and Louisiana. So my friends and family, American friends and family, stay aware and prepared. Be ready. Thoughts and prayers to everybody that's going to be affected by this tropical storm. It will be a category three, if not worse, by the time it gets to Houston. So thoughts and prayers being thrown out from Canada to everybody worldwide as we're going through these large extreme weather events. As well, we're looking at Typhoon Bavi, who will be a tropical, or sorry, a category three typhoon as well, heading to South Korea and North Korea in the coming days. Tuesday and Wednesday is the for, uh, landfall forecast for South Korea. So that's tonight and tomorrow. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody. Prayers for humanity. Let's get to five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. And something a little different here, I wanted to show you the cloud cover. Now there is a lot of cloud cover, Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere right now. And we're gonna watch for that to increase as we go into winter. And five day forecast showing here, seasonable across Western North America and stormy across the east as an Alberta clipper forms and quite possibly joins forces there with tropical storm Laura but we'll be creating a pretty monstrous storm for the Atlantic provinces and Quebec. And cool temperatures are moving in already across North America. The uh, uh, higher elevations in the Rockies already receiving snow, Banff and Jasper yesterday. Cooler temperatures are moving in. Big change is coming and watch for that video later today. We talked about it already. Got a couple videos coming today, so please stay tuned to Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, keeping you aware and prepared to the coming changes around our planet. So five-day forecast shows here, Tropical Storm Laura, landfall right in between Houston, Louisiana, and then just going straight north and jogging east. Now, I've never seen a tropical storm act like that, except for what, Hurricane Andrew, possibly? When parts of Ontario got winds from Hurricane Andrew. Very interesting times. Looking at South America, not much to talk about except daily evaporation rains. And watching the Atlantic for more tropical storms to move in. Quite possibly affecting Venezuela later in the week. And across South America, watch for very vigorous low pressure system moving in to the South Sandwich Islands followed by, by a very strong high pressure ridge filled with cloud. Now that's something I wanted to show you here with strong winds, large low pressure systems and tons of cloud. That's why I wanted to throw it in here today. I don't normally put it in because it, it is a lot to look at for the eyes. So let's get to the five day forecast. We'll carry on here. Please look forward to the video later. We'll talk more about what's coming to our planet. Overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rains heavier towards the western parts, coastline as the tropical depression forms across Europe. That quick moving low pressure system, almost tropical force winds through Ireland and through the United Kingdom. Watch for another system to come in later in the week and bring some pretty intense storms throughout Central Europe moving eastward into Russia. And then of course the monsoon rains 
and storms across India, straight from Nepal to Pakistan. Watch for atmospheric event as these storms continue on. And then, of course, tropical cyclone or typhoon Bavi, who will be a tropical uh, category three storm when it hits South Korea tonight and tomorrow. And then we'll zip into the Pacific Ocean. Overlooking Australia. Very cool eastern parts, but quite a transition when you've got three degrees with a low of what? One degree with zero degrees actually at night to northwestern parts of Australia up to 38 degrees. So interesting transition happening down there as well in Australia as they're getting ready to uh, what come into spring, I guess. huh? And we're going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern Hemisphere. Southern Hemisphere, very cold, very windy, vigorous, large, low pressure systems. And of course, high pressures to match. So there we're prepared. Thanks for watching today. I really appreciate you all tuning in and getting a world weather forecast. Look at earthquakes, volcanoes, and disaster alerts to stay aware and prepared. As well, stay young and have fun. And I just got a notification. Mount Edna just erupted. Watch for big storms here. The Atlantic coast moving into Quebec. Five-day forecast and a very strange and wonky Atlantic hurricane season. Prayers for humanity. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye. And don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.